It is May 30th, 2023. I'm in Savannah, Georgia. This is a purple passion flower plant grown from seed and there are so many caterpillars on here. So many. So let me turn this brightness up so oh. Okay, the brightness is up all the way, but I can barely see. It. This one I have not seen before. So I actually don't know which species this one is. It's red with black horizontal stripes that have white spots. So that's new to me. And then this, if I can get the camera to focus, this orange one is a gulf fritillary. All the orange ones are gulf fritillary, so there's four more. But there's a dead bee? Um, I think that's a dead bee stuck in the flower. Yeah, I think that's dead. I don't know. Oh, okay. So there's another one of the red ones with the spots. So there's another go for it, Larry. Two more. Another. And another. And so many. There's one on that side, and I bet I could find some eggs on the leaves. Ooh, some long-legged flies. Hey, maybe we can get them mating on camera, because I still don't know what species they are. How flies flirt? I don't know. And you can hear a northern mockingbird. Come on, camera. Seems like an awkward mating ritual. Let's see how close I can get the camera. Okay, the camera decided to get blurry. So this is just a video about flies now. Try and prop the camera. So, this is just going to be a fly video now, and I'm not even going to apologize. For once, that's the wind, not my hand. This has got to be the most boring mating ritual I've ever seen. It's just poking her. I'm sorry I'm not uh, David Attenborough. I don't even know what species they are. I just know they're called long-legged flies. 
because of their long legs. No camera. All right, wind, can you chill out? Oh, they flew off. Okay, so we can get back to the caterpillars now. So, so camera focus. Doesn't want to focus on that one, so we'll just. Yeah, that bee is weird. But here is these two. So these are the both Gulf fritillaries. Okay. You might not know the name of the butterfly, but if you live in Georgia, you will probably know it once you see it. So just Google Gulf fritillary because unless an adult decides to fly up here. I'm not going to be able to show you a picture because I don't know how you add pictures to videos. I hear some tree frogs now. And this is a purple passion flower plant, like I said. They have three lobed leaves. And I mean, this flower is being eaten. But these two have already closed, so they were open already. Here you can see the inside of this one. And yes, if you want to be technical about it, they are technically harming the plant because they eat it. But the plant does, it's literally evolved alongside these guys since both of the species existed. Ooh, this one is also, I mean, unless that's just what they look like when they, immediately after they molt, I'm not sure. This might be a new to me species, it might just be a gofritillary because it definitely just molted out of that little black thing. Let's see a minute if the camera focuses. Come on, camera. Anyways, fun fact the three pointy yellow feet at the top there, those are the true feet. I think the rest of these that you think of as caterpillar feet are called pseudopods or pseudopeds or something. But those three feet there are the ones the butterfly keeps. The rest just, I guess, melt or something. I don't know. Here's some caterpillar poop. So if you see this on any of the plants, that means you've got caterpillars even if you don't see them personally. There's so many caterpillars on here, it's hilarious. Oh wait, yeah, okay, anyways, I was saying that the purple passion flower have evolved alongside all of these butterfly species for forever. They are able to be eaten by these and they actually encourage the plant to grow more because it's like, oh, okay, I'm getting eaten, so I better grow some extra leaves. Especially if you have the passion flower in the ground, it can grow like 60 feet in a year. So even if you have this many caterpillars on your plant, and I haven't even counted these yet, it's fine. You do not need to kill them. You don't need to get rid of them. They are native pollinators. And if you see this, you should literally be overjoyed because without your plant here, none of these caterpillars, which are going to be future butterflies, would exist because they literally cannot exist if they don't have a food source for their babies. Passionflower is known as a host plant because it hosts the caterpillars of these butterflies. If you hear that milkweed is the host plant for monarchs, it's because Milkweeds are the only type of plant monarch caterpillars can eat. It's the same with these guys. They can only eat the passion flowers. So I'm just going to zoom in on this bee again because it's really weird. Pretty sure that's an American bumblebee. But I don't know what 
in the heck happened. Unless the flower suddenly closes, but I don't think it did. So that's just weird. <laughs> but these caterpillars, they do have... Sp yeah, and yes, this video is just going all over the place, and I don't care. I'm autistic and I have ADHD, and you can enjoy it or go somewhere else. Anyways, these caterpillars do have spikes, but they're not poisonous. They're not going to sting you. That is just to make them look scary for birds. Like, would you want to eat that? I don't think so. Okay, well, actually, I don't know. If I assume these guys are not also poisonous, but these guys aren't. That is just to make them extremely unappetizing for birds. And yes, they are eating the flower buds and the, I assume the petals inside. But like I said, the plant is going to grow so fast. And as a result of all of this, that it won't, oh, there's two on that one. That's funny. Come on, camera. You have one job, just focus. Look at them eating away. So, if you see caterpillars on your plants, you shouldn't be thinking, Oh no, they're going to kill my precious plants. You should be thinking, Oh wow, I have contributed to my native ecosystem in an extremely impactful way. None of these would be here if I hadn't decided to grow this flower or bush or whatever it is. Like... This is just one single plant. There's probably like 30 or 50 caterpillars on here that will all grow up to be butterflies and they wouldn't exist without this single plant. And this is just from one seed. And if this one produces any fruit, the fruit will have at least a dozen seeds. I haven't actually counted how many seeds you get from passion flowers. And this plant is a freaking weirdo because I did grow it from seed and it's it's weird this is the first time it's actually climbed it has it grew ridiculously fast and then didn't want to climb anything it was just like really bushy like this section here it was just staying short and then just doing stuff like that it was weird but it's actually climbing now and it could probably do with some, some even more trellising like these ones are looking for somewhere else to climb. But yeah. So, grow some, na look up for your area, just type into Google, insert name of where you live, native butterflies or host plants for butterflies, or just go on inaturalist.org Search for your area, search for butterflies, and then find what host plants they have and see if you can start growing some of them. And then you can post pictures of every single caterpillar that comes to your plant and the adult butterflies if you can catch them in the act to iNaturalist. And you can learn about them. Like this one, I'm going to find out what this is and I bet it looks awesome. I've never seen this one on a passion flower yet. I've seen the Gulf Fritillaria and I've seen the Zebra Swallowtails, which look the same except they are white with black spikes instead of orange. Alright, this video is like almost 15 minutes long now, so I'm gonna end it now. But yeah, grow some passion flowers, and if you find caterpillars on your plants, Post them, take pictures, post the pictures to iNaturalist, dot, which is I-N-A-T-U-R-A-L-I-S-T dot org. It's by the National Geographic or something. Find out what the caterpillars are and start growing the stuff for them on purpose. It's fun. If this plant grows any fruit, I'll let you know, and if I... I'm ever here when it's flowering, I'll take pictures or post a video of that too. I guess, like, I don't know. Never seen that bee there. Be doing that before. But anyways, this video's over now because my phone battery's gonna die. Bye-bye.